Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a junction table in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, what is a junction table? In technical terms, if I like to put it, it is basically to create a many-to-many -many relationship. Now, one thing running into your mind that what is a many-to-many -many relationship? As you can see in my next slide, it is saying that a many-to-many -many relationship is a relational database exists when a record from table A can be linked or can be referenced to one or more record in table B and vice versa. That is that one record in table B will be referenced to one or more record in table A. So this is what a many to many relationship talks about. Now generally when we create relationship we most of the time use many to many relationship. Now this is the most widely used uh, relationship in Microsoft Access 2016. Access also support different type of relationship. Now, what are these different relationship? As you can see in my next slide, it says there are many type of relationship that Access supports. Those are one to many, then one to one and many to many. In this video, we are going to talk about many to many relationship and we'll get a better understanding of it in our practical approach. So let's go and perform this task. Now, as you can see, I have the same table which I have used for my previous example, right? In my previous video, I have used the same example. So I'm repeating the same example for creating a junction table as well. All right, so let's go ahead and create a junction table. In order to create a junction table, I will be needing one more table. So I'll go to the create tab and say table design. So basically in this table, I would like to take the user ID and the item number and I will assign them as the primary key. So how it is done, let me tell you quickly. So I'll say this as item number and I'll take the data type as to be number. And from user ID, I will take this user ID, user table, I'll take the user ID and I'll simply type the user ID and I will take the data type as to be number as well. So basically I have created a new junction table for these two tables. So now the second thing which I need to do is I need to assign a primary key to both this field. So basically what I'm trying to do, I will highlight these two. So I move on to the extreme left corner. I have selected this with my mouse, Just simply drag it. I'll simply right click it and assign a primary key. Now, as you can see, a primary key has been assigned to both these entries, right? So now I will save this table and I will save this table as the junction table. So I'll name this as junction table and I'll simply save this. So I have my item number. I have my user ID as well. I have assigned the primary key. Now let's go ahead and uh, create a junction table. So in order to do that, I will go ahead and delete. I'll, del uh, I'll close all the tabs. I'll simply close all the tabs. I'll say close all. And now I will move to the database tool and out here I will simply click on relationship. So basically it is showing me all the tables uh, which are there in my database, uh, but I do not want all these tables. So I'll, I'll simply select all these table and remove this, delete, shift, delete and I'll delete it. So it's done now. I have deleted all the table. I want to add the tables which I require. So I want the item table, I want the user table and I want the junction table. These are the three table for uh, which I'll be requiring to create the junction table, I simply select add. Now all these table has been added. Now as you can see, I have uh, the item number primary key out here and the user ID as the primary key out here. I'm just trying to relate these two table by creating a relationship between them. So I simply select this item number and drag to this junction table and drag it to item number. The moment I click here, another window has popped up. It is saying, yes, uh, these are the things which I want to relate with each other. I will make sure I will select this checkbox and simply create. The moment I select create, now as you can see, it has create a relationship from one to many, right? So this relationship is known as one to many as it will be having one item number, but it can be related to the many item numbers. So this is one to many relationships. Similarly, I'll do this for ID as well. So this is how it is done. It will again give me the dialog box which shows the user ID. Yes, from the user table and from junction ID, I'm using the user ID as well. All right, I'll enforce the referential integrity and again hit create. Now again, I have a one to many relationship. Now in this way, I have created a junction table in such a way that the 
field list from item and user name from item has been put together in the junction table so this is how you can create the junction table I'll simply close this setting I want to save this setting right and after this I simply need to pull out my table so that is my junction table and I'll simply start adding the details right so this is how you can create a junction table and give one to many relationship to the junction table